Good evening, folks. We're taking a quick look at this morning's solar eruption to appreciate its motion and power relative to the size of Earth. We've got a big meteor to talk about. Luckily, just buzzed our planet this morning. Would have been a major event. But first, I want to draw attention after those eruptions at the limb to the turning active region where just north and ahead of it, a new sunspot group forms and begins yelling as newborns are prone to do. After an initial flurry, it has calmed down most of the day, but its development across the Earth-facing disk will be important to monitor tonight and tomorrow in case of further development, not to mention what's going to be coming over the limb here, too. Now let's quickly jump back to 2013, the big Russian meteor. Now this was only about 20 meters across, three times smaller than Tunguska, the big one from a century ago. And what just buzzed our planet was between 48 and 110 meters across, possibly much bigger than Tunguska. We are going to look at the JPL orbital diagram for 2018 GE3, which is the object designation. Its orbit is elliptical and it is relatively tilted compared to the major planes of planetary orbit. We're starting in March of this year and running up to now. After this generic long view approach, let's begin changing viewpoints along the way to aid in perspective of the object approach. The data here is from April 11th, and we're going to watch the close approach of this rock, which came as close as half the distance to the moon earlier today. However, it did not come into the direct line of orbit of Earth. It did indeed pass almost directly over our planet to the north, but it does not cross our orbital plane until much closer to the sun, and indeed, the closeness of the approach today was entirely north of our planet. Lucky indeed, as this would have been two to six times larger than the 2013 meteor and could have been nearly twice as large as Tunguska. I will see you in the morning for the full show. Be safe, everyone.